We're reviewing two different types of movies. Uh, uh, I, I, I think they're both kind of like holiday themed movies, of course. That's kind of what you're kind of gearing up here uh, throughout the rest right. of the year. So one's, one is great for children. The other one eh, is probably not, right? More for adults, exactly. Okay. Well, let's talk about the family film first. This is called Godmothered. Uh, it's available on Disney+. Plus. Uh, stars uh, Jillian Bell. She plays a godmother in training uh, in a magical land of called Motherland. Uh, unfortunately, Motherland is about to be shut down because nobody seems to believe in fairy godmothers anymore. So Jillian Bell decides to, she finds a, a letter from a 10-year-old girl and decides to travel to Earth to help fulfill um, her wish to be happily ever after. Of course, she comes to Earth and she finds Isla Fisher. It's not a young girl. It's 30 years after she wrote the letter. But yet still, Jillian Bell still tries to help Isla Fisher uh, get a happy ever after. Uh, uh, she's a, uh, a single mother with two young girls, uh, and you, some of us can relate. She's a, uh, uh, a local TV news producer uh, trying, to, uh, trying to hold on to her job and, and, and get good segments and good ratings <laughs> and so on. Uh, we've seen this kind of movie before with oh. Jillian Bell in that the, the naive young woman who comes to a, a uh, a naive young person comes to a different land, sort of like Elf or uh, Enchanted. Uh, Jillian Bell has, you know, of course, fantastic uh, comedic chops uh, and does well here. Isla Fisher, unfortunately, we don't get her full range that we've seen her in other movies because she is she can be just downright hilarious. Here, her playing the harried mother, uh, you know, always racing to and fro, trying to do her best. Uh, I don't think quite used her talents as much as it could be. Uh, there are some touching emotional moments in this movie that really kind of will make you tear up a little bit. It, unfortunately, it's about 20, 25 minutes too long. It kind of sags in the middle. I think your the young kids will probably like this a whole lot. This might be the kind of movie that the, the parents kind of have to, well, we'll sit through it. And uh, it's all in all, it's okay. It's not great. It's not bad. It's sort of middling. Uh, I, I like some of the performances. Jane Curtin, Curtin makes an appearance as the uh, the head fairy godmother. And of course, I, I think the world of her. Uh, this movie, eh, I give it a seven and a half out of ten. Okay. So, a, a decent family film available on Disney Plus. I, I like that. Uh, and eh, seven and a half out of ten. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 Now, the next movie, as you talked about, it's it's this is for adults. Uh, it's a drama. Uh, it's called Uncle Frank. It's available uh, on Amazon Prime. Stars Paul Bettany. He plays a, uh, a professor who's originally from South Carolina who now lives in Manhattan. His uh, his 18-year-old niece goes to school in Manhattan, played by Sophia Lillis. Uh, the, the basic plot line is Paul uh, Bettany's character is gay, uh, but he comes from very conservative 1969, 1973 South Carolina, so he has to keep who he is hidden. Uh, but he lives his life as he wants to in New York City. Well, his father dies, uh, which requires uh, him and his niece to do a road trip down to South Carolina, along with the uh, Paul Bettany's boyfriend, uh, who kind of tags along, even though he's not really invited. But he adds a lot of uh, comedic relief and charisma to the movie. Uh, the basic tell tale of you know acceptance and knowing who you are. Uh, and, and living the life as you wish to lead are some of the big themes in this movie, with Paul Bettany giving a fantastic performance as the, the, he's still tortured because of his things that happened in his youth that is sort of uh, uh, told throughout the course of this movie, and clearly his father, played by Stephen Root, just does not accept him at all, and even in death. Uh, does not accept who he is. I thought this was a, a delightful movie. Uh, it's very heartfelt. Uh, a lot of good themes, a lot of good storylines that I thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, Sophia Lillis is a young actress who I think we're going to be seeing a lot of in the coming years. I give this movie an eight and a half out of ten. Okay, so that's a, that's so, a that's a oh, eight and a half out of ten. Not a, yeah. Yeah. So you, yeah, for this weekend you have something for the kids if you want to watch. Have something to watch on Disney Plus. Afterwards, if you want to watch a, a movie that's geared toward, you know, adult drama, uh, Uncle Frank is the one for you. So two okay. different choices this weekend. Got our 7 to 9 movie and our 9 right. to 11 movie. Exactly. Gotcha. That's very gotcha, good. Michael. Exactly. Double feature. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. We'll see you next week. All right. Coming up, former Presidents Bush, Clinton, and Obama. I want to make sure all Americans get the